That's better. <laughs> He's stuck. Holy shit, it's frozen solid. So when that Emperor, like, class uh, storm hits, it just turns to a massive... Oh no, perfect timing. Get off me, you fucking knobhead. Oh shit, yeah, that's it. Oh no, I was forced in. <gasps> shit, please don't tell I'm dead. Yeah. Hang on, you dick. I wonder if you can see it. I can't move it. Holy shit, it's like, an, it's like a, an icicle. It just cannot move. Oh no. Can I exit with. Oh, let me exit it. <laughs> Yeah, for, if anyone's wondering, I don't know, I have a clue what happened to me. Um... Oh, that was bad, quickly. I don't have a clue what's happened to Machine Gun. What I had. I know I had one. Oh, I'm oh, going edit them. Come oh, on, stay there, stay there, stay there. Oh, 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 that was close. Oh, oh, that was close. Can I not, like, replenish anything? I can't believe it's just absolutely gone solid like that. Right, where do I go? Right, I'll just run over here. Oh, they run a bit weird, please. Come on, reload. Oof. What? Oh my god. So we have to return to it anyway. There must be some sort of like um, switch or something to like defrost something, you know, like when it's stopped. Right, I'm here, so now what? Come on, tell me what I should do then. My right, first tier energy balls, time to plot more. Oh my god, I'm supposed to shoot him off. Tell me now, Luke, yeah. It actually did not stay. Now, if I didn't see it, my apologies, but I'm sure it did not stay. Me shoot these eyes off. Wait, excuse me. It's a cough then, really bad. Alright, follow these out uh, trail over here. <clears throat> it should be like, like I say, it should be an emergency, like defrost button. But never mind. Oh, I've got something in my throat now. It's really like itching me back of my throat. It's making me cough. <coughs> oh, I need a. I could do with a, an assault rifle again. I don't, like I say, what happened was I went for my tea, and basically, long story short, I just turned off the game. Come back to restart it again, but obviously, because you're low from the last save, you can't actually save it from where you're at. You have to reload it from where it auto saved. So, obviously, auto saved from where we first met them um, encounters of them people who spit stuff at you. Um, is it over here? Is it me or. Oh, look at that! I'm putting footprints in there, that's alright, isn't it? 
Kind of makes it more realistic, in a sense. And I found it. Found the post. Yeah, and I thought this was going to be a big dude here. So that's where its weakness is. This is in, in, in its head. Oh, little sneaky bastard there. Eh? Using your tail. Hang on, what, what was it saying then? I don't even know where my health is, by the way. I'm guessing if you get hit too much, I'll do it. Oh, that was close. I think I can do double light gun. Oh! Nearly dead, I can see it. And where the fuck are you going? Pick on this uh, T energy up. I love that, actually. I can't believe I just did that. Oh, I, don't tell me I just blew, I killed someone like that. Are they sticky? I wonder. Yeah. Oh, I killed it, that's alright. Can't see, where is it, where is it, where is it? It's not here. There it is. Is that the same one? Ha, you didn't get me that time, did you, sucker? It's not dead yet, but it's dead guy. Oh, it's, <coughs> it's not more to die. Oh, it'd be so much easier now if I had moved the uh, machine gun. Finally. Looks like that's done. How long do I have to wait here for? It's your job to keep Coronas fueled by finding these thermal pockets on your own, planting T posts, and maintaining them when they're full. Harvest them regularly, and you'll be raking in the credits in no time. Got it, boss. I think this work is just my speed. Alright, so... Do it all up. And so it went for weeks and months, until the extraordinary became commonplace. Dealing with the cold in my life became the new routine. Intense is real. I kept my sanity and wits by not thinking too deeply about what I was seeing and doing. He got lonesome sometimes, out in the Badlands. The music and weekly messages from the missus kept me company. I was making great dough, getting choice contracts. Not with the point, after all. I made friends with the crew. They're a right good sort, those guys. Even LaRoche, for all his bluster, had his moments. For better or worse, I became Braddock's go-to guy. It had its benefits, but sometimes being the one to get the call meant you ended up in some damn strange situations. <coughs> What's wrong? Plenty. <coughs> Harmonizer's on a side of juice. One time I want an acre to attack. <coughs> Something about getting the call. Yeah, right. Well, now you know how hard it is to communicate off-world. In those days, Nivek had a work around. An antenna relay on the highest peak, peak in the area, so we can call home to Mama with minimal storm interference. It's our lifeline. Two hours ago, we went offline, and we don't know why. We're effectively cut off from sending and receiving any off-world communications. Uh, some acrid probably got his claws into it. So once again, you expect me to march out there and fight a horde of monsters in a rig without weapons, huh? Do you know how much of my income I waste on repairs? I want guns on my rig, a simple chain gun. 
My hands are tied. Nevik regulations. Yes, yes, don't weaponize the construction vehicles, but I mean in this but case... nothing. I'm not going to jeopardize my operation because of your nerve deficit. It's called hazard pay for a reason. Oh, please. Hey, boss. Just knows Comsat's offline. Yeah. Mind if I hustle down the relay station? Give her a gander? I was just talking to Mr. LaRoche about that very thing. Apparently he's got some concerns about making nice with the wildlife. Well, no, I don't want to just snake a man's contract. No, no, no. Take it. Get yourself killed. Not for at least double, I mean. Done. What? Be back by supper time. <laughs> so it looks like there's a bit of rivalry between them two, is there? Did he just salute to him then? Let me just check. No. Might just with me. <coughs> right. Empty the post. So, looks like it's been a few um, months, maybe. Mr. Payton, this is Dr. Kovach. Can you read me? Loud and clear, Doc. And I told you, you can call me Jim. As you like, Mr. Jim. I was hoping you could pay me a visit in my lab, as your circumstances and logistics allow. Oh, and I believe I'm to mention that remuneration is involved. So you have a job for me? I believe I made that abundantly clear. Oh, abundantly. I'll drop by soon, Doc. Wait up. Check missions in the job log. Oh, my last one. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, these are optionals. Optionals. Um... <clears throat> Right, so let me just, before I carry on, let me just, I'm going to get um, an assault rifle, I have to. So let's go and speak to uh, noob head, uh, armor and T energy stuff. I want to see what upgrades you can have for this rig. Um, I don't know what's down here. Right, these are the big dudes. Let's just speak to them a minute. Open cool. shop. Here we what go. What do we get to do today? What's this here? I'll have a to collect nearby to any simply by walking over it. Um. Oh no, I forgot. What are them? Harden hole. That's all right. Extra shield on the forearms, long for a quick bash attack by typing timing air X. Uh. Oh, there's not a lot of upgrades, but seems to be better than nothing. So, <clears throat> till next time, boss. Let's find the uh, weapon shop now. The quartermaster. Probably going straight past him, to be honest. Oh, where's the lab actually? I'll start an elevator. I'm not bothered about an elevator. I could just simply check my map. Oh yeah. What'll it be? Right, assault rifle. That's it. Hunting rifle. What's the difference? Oh, oh, it's um thingy that, isn't it? Right, I'll have one. Oh, Thank that's you. real pretty. Good range. Good punch. That's a go-to gun right there. Um, can I upgrade? Is that it? I'm um, gonna give it an extended mag. I might as well Good. just give it an extended that mag. That upgrade's a must in my book. The less you gotta reload, the better, eh? Alright, so that's done. Um, right, okay. Gail what? got you rummaging around for scrap, huh? Gail got you rummaging around for scrap, huh? <laughs> might as well just get to them, man. Good deal. Right. You be careful out there, kiddo. Let's just check one more thing before we head off. I need to go the. I didn't know I could set a waypoint. Derp. Obviously, it's sort of it's level one in it. Man, hang on. Upper deck. There we go. Oh my god, is he still there? Hey, Jim. How's Hank? Sprouting up like a beanstalk. 
You are you are really taking the piss. Right. So here's the barracks, which I've actually not seen, so let's pick it up. I only took this job because Braddock didn't seem like too much of a nevic toady. But the way it buckles to these crazy rules, man. Here we are oh, in a top four with these eight. Why can't I get in? Survival tip number three. Don't stray from warm areas without an environment suit. Your Nevik designed suit will keep you warm and safe in even the most inhospitable environments. Be mindful to charge your suit overnight and stay within range of an umbilical field at all times. Stay happy, stay warm. <clears throat> So basically, these suits are like powered, so if they run out, then you kind of like start dying, I think. I'm guessing. 